What's up guys? It's been a while. Um, I have not done a video in a couple weeks now and I feel bad about that. Um, Got to get my channel rolling again. I don't know why I kind of stopped. Mostly I think because I usually do videos when my employees aren't here and um, we've just been working a lot of late hours so it's just hard to there's not a lot of times when I don't have an employee here. So, except in the morning times, I'm like, you know what? I should knock out a video right now instead of a project. I should probably knock out a project, but that's okay. Um, couple new things. Number one, I got my new heat press in. Um, can't remember exactly how big this is. It's something like 35 by 39 inches or somewhere in that range. Um, just one I bought off of Amazon. And so far, it's working really great. We've done a lot of sublimation shirt projects. We got a lot of koozies on the way, different stuff like that. Yesterday, we did a table cover. They wanted this wood background. And so I just ordered a polyester table cover and we pressed all of that. I also did the side of it over here and the other side as well, so. That actually looked pretty cool. Um, we were gonna do the top, but I just, I don't know. I didn't wanna do all that. So the client was happy enough with that. I'm happy enough with that. Another thing, I don't know if I had this in my last video or not, but I ordered an entire pallet of Coroplast. Um, my supplier was having to sell on these. Normally I get these for $15 a sheet, but I was able to get these for $10 a sheet. So I was like, get me an entire pallet. So I got 275 sheets of Coroplast. Um, it's a lot of dough to spend, but we're gonna save a ton of money in the long run. And we, we go through that constantly. Um, another thing I'm excited about, I'm just gonna make this a continuous video. I won't even have to edit it maybe, who knows? I've never done NCR forms before. Um, so we've been doing that. And this one was particularly, um, these were numbered, but I wanted to do it cut stack so that uh, 2000 through 2999 was on the left. And then 3000 through 3999 was on the right so that um, they could just get cut. So. Anyways, uh, Daniel helped me out with that. I appreciate you, Daniel. Thanks a lot for that, buddy. Um, he's also helped me out with cutting me out a USB jig um, for an emergency project. Teacher Appreciation Week is next week. I got to put some logos on some USB drives, and I'm going to do it on the flatbed. So Daniel has his Glowforge running, hooked me up with a jig, for the USBs, it's gonna arrive today. USBs arrive today as well. So, um, and Daniel might be selling those in the future. Maybe, who knows? Um, if you're looking for jigs, he's your guy. Um, there's some yard signs I have going on. Another thing, I changed up, I had some water damage from the front windows up here. This is where my client pickup area was, right here at these windows. Um, that cabinet was over there. The entire cabinet was drenched. So we lost a lot of work um, that we had to redo. So that was not good. So I reworked this and we used to have two desks over here. So it was confusing for clients. Like which desk do I go to? Now we only have the one desk. I also have a customer service rep that is starting in a couple more weeks. She's working in Otis at her current job, which I totally respect. I'm really glad that she's doing that. That means a lot to me. Um, so she's going to be sitting there. This is kind of just my desk area and I moved this little countertop so that I can hide my junk away from client view. Look a little bit more professional. Um, here's a big old sign back here. We did, I had to hand cut that with a jigsaw. 
because we don't have a massive fancy flatbed cutter like everyone else has, but that's okay. Um, I got some more NCR forms over here, ready to be glued up. But for some reason, I cannot find my fan apart glue that I had last week. It's just gone. I cleaned up the entire shop last night looking for it. So I think I'm just going to order a new canister of it. And I know as soon as I click order on that, I'm going to find it here in the shop. I know it. What else is there to talk about? I don't know. That's probably it. Anyways, I just want to give you all a little update. What's been happening in the shop. I'm sorry. I've been a little MIA lately. Uh, we've been busy. Um, I will say I'm working on a, uh, I did this little booklet signs completed project log where you know we write down the daily values of the things that we've been working on and what that total is there at the bottom and then I was also doing the same thing for for paper printing you know because we have that number that we got to hit in order to be profitable um, at the end of the day and Pretty much my goal right now is to do $40,000 a month, which is 1,667 days, um, $1,667 per work day in the month. So I kind of break it down by work day in the month of April. So we need to hit $1,700 a day, really. And so yesterday it looked like we hit in completed projects, projects out the door we hit um, $2,500, so that's good. But I really want my employees to understand and be bought into, this is why we have to hit these numbers because if we don't, like, it's not good, it's not good. So we all have to stay on top of the finances. I think I'm going to revise this though to be one book for everything and we just keep it up here and I'm going to do more columns across the entire spread and make it so that it's like a column for, I might throw estimates as a column, signs as a column, paper printing as a column, and then uh, our screen printing slash sublimation as a column. And then that way I have a place down below where we just total everything up and we can make it to where we have a team powwow every day and we put those numbers out there. So anyways, that's a little update of what's been happening in the shop. Thanks for listening to my rambling. Um, I might just post this entire video. I hope y'all don't mind. <laughs> y'all have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.